Tropical storms are a fact of life in the Caribbean, but only about half strengthen into hurricanes. Hurricanes are, are systems that are born in the tropics, and they need to have 26 degrees Celsius, approximately 80 degrees Fahrenheit water, to get the systems going. They actually act as a heat engine. They take the warm water and rise it up as water vapor. And as that water vapor condenses, it releases latent heat into the atmosphere. And that's where the wind energy is coming from. Only one in 20 Atlantic hurricanes ever strikes the East Coast. Odds are that Sandy will do what virtually all of these hurricanes do, head into the Gulf of Mexico like Katrina, or blow into the cold Atlantic and fade harmlessly away. But then a startling prediction from 4,000 miles away upends all expectations. A day even before Sandy has been named, the supercomputers at a European weather center predict that she will not follow the normal course. Conventional wisdom said that Sandy would move towards the north because it was in the Caribbean and then towards the northeast and then it would die and not affect land. But there were suggestions that the hurricane might not behave in a normal way and might actually end up over the northeast of the US. Worse than that, the model goes on to predict that once Sandy reaches the northeast, it will make a sudden, improbable left turn, sending it straight into the heart of the Jersey Shore and New York City. <laughs> 